I had this really great experience with Apollo Funeral Home. Rich Snyder says he met Miles Harford helping his friend with funeral arrangements in 2016. He was amazing. He was very sincere. So when it came time to plan his own funeral arrangements in 2017, he turned to Apollo Funeral Home and Miles Harford again, prepaying $1,200 for a future cremation. Seemed like very seamless process. Looked over the contract, um, pretty much everything looked legit. He trusted it enough that he used Apollo for another friend. And Nancy is very much a second mom to me. She's in a nursing home, and he's her power of attorney. Her prepaid cremation cost 1300 bucks. I did ask him way back when with both of these was, hey, if you go out of business like businesses do, what happens to our money? And he said it goes into a trust. Schneider says Hartford even gave him paperwork showing a trust account in his name at U.S. Bank. And he just moved on with life until about a week ago when he turned on the TV. And I saw your story and I was like, wait, what? Apollo Funeral Home, Miles Harford. Miles Harford. Harford was arrested CR last week on a warrant after police say he left a woman's body in a hearse for a year and a half. His business closed after serious financial trouble. It was a huge shock, an absolute shock. The shock only intensified when he went to the bank. They couldn't find an account for him or for Nancy. I think both of our money is gone. From my understanding, whatever they paid Apollo Funeral Service, is gone. Joe Walsh is the president of the Colorado Funeral Directors Association. He formed his own trust, as I understand, but he also liquidated his own trust. He says what Harford allegedly did, setting up his own trust, isn't standard practice. Funeral directors usually use insurance policies for prepaid arrangements or hold money for prepaid services in what's called a master trust run by all the funeral homes in the state. It is secure because you have to actually submit the proper paperwork to get the money back. If you are pre-planning funeral arrangements, he says you should ask how the funeral director is holding on to your money. I say follow your gut and make sure that you're good with your decision. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Rich's gut tells him he'll have to start from scratch. And he says he lost more than just money. It's the peace of mind. That's what he took. With this story out of Denver, added to the tragedies at the Sunset Mesa Funeral Home in Montrose, the Return to Nature Funeral Home in Penrose. You may be asking, what should you be looking for when you're picking a funeral director? Walsh says you should check the state's Department of Regulatory Agencies website to look for a funeral home license. Also, he recommends shopping around. We will have a link to where you can check a funeral home license. Also check their registry of funeral homes under this story when we post it on 9news.com.